did you end up getting in your uh, yeah, I wasn't going to. Um, and then I had a home visit uh, in Texas for, with Coach Narduzzi and Coach Manilek. And uh, we had a conversation, and it was like the last week I could really enroll here. And so I was like, we had a conversation about it, and ultimately it was best for me and my family to come up right now. So we decided to make that choice, and I flew up that Sunday. How hard was it to make those last minute that, uh, the last minute decision you know, for high school? Well, I actually graduated in uh, December, and I was actually home for all of, most of January, and I was just going to stay in Texas and train and get ready to for the college life and all that. But then I decided with my family, I was like, I'd be better to get up here and start your classes and get with the team, build that chemistry and stuff like that um, as soon as possible. So that's what ultimately made, made me make my decision. Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, it's the first time I've personally seen snow in a very long time. Um, but I like the cold. It's not too bad. It's a mental toughness type of thing for me. So. I love how fast we play. I love how everybody's like 11 has to the ball. Everyone's like itching to get it, hit somebody. I just love how fast everything is. And um, as a player that's fun to me, that makes football fun, is when you fly around and go hit people, especially I'm a defense player, so I love hitting people. Did you watch a lot of them this year? Do you like the role, say, Subasi played on this defense? Oh, yeah, I watched a lot this year, um, which is ultimately why, why I just keep, kept falling, falling in love with Pitt. I mean, the linebacker core is just everywhere you looked, it was just speed and people getting to the ball. Um, Voss, you said, I mean, that dude is a dog. And to talk to him and pick his brain about certain things is just awesome. And he's been a big mentor to me, to me through this whole process. So. What kind of experience have you had early on just getting to know your, your, your new teammates, especially the linebacker room? Did like, they take you out any places? Did they help you, you know, figure different things out? What's that been like? Oh, yeah, they've all been super cool with me. I mean, I have, I've had no issues. I mean, they're really good dudes. They always come and help me out. They know I'm new and they know I've been here three weeks, three, four weeks. So they always try to come help me, nudge me in the right direction. If I have any questions, I don't hesitate to ask them because I feel comfortable around them already. And uh, they're making me feel like home already. Honestly, I'm just looking at it as I have to work harder to get on the field. I mean, ultimately, I'm a freshman. I do have kids that are in there that have been here a year longer, two years, three years longer than me. Um, but that's just how college is. I have to work for whatever I want. If I want to play as a freshman, I have to work for it. I have to learn this playbook as fast as possible and get my stuff done in the classroom and on the field. So. What linebacker spots have, uh, have, you been, have you been focusing you on early? Yeah, I've been uh, learning all of them, but mainly the star position. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 100%. Uh, for, like, still, like, I had to spend a little bit when talking to him because he speaks really fast and knows exactly what he's talking about. But I like that because I just quiet and write down in my notes what he's talking about. And he gets on the board with me and walks, takes me through what I needed to get taken through right in that moment. So um, he, he's just been great. I mean, he's helped me so much, like, with this early inst installation stuff and just kind of getting accustomed to the playbook, he's just been awesome. Anytime I call him, text him, he'll answer and he'll help me immediately. Do you remember when you said you moved in on a Sunday? Do you remember when that was? Was it still January? Or it was in January. Do you remember the date? I do not. <laughs> you uh, made the last minute decision to come up here. Was it tough to convince your parents that it was a good thing for you to do? Oh no, no. They they were they were all for it. I mean, oh yeah. <laughs> no, they um they knew it was a great opportunity for me to come here and get get used to things and all that because uh, I have a lot of older siblings. So they saw them and they were like, okay, it'd be best for you if you went early, especially with me playing football and all that. Um, so they were they were really they were kind of sad and happy to see me go, but um, ultimately they were happy for me because this is a great opportunity. Your 
brothers who play football? Uh, no, I have a brother that runs track in Staten Island in New York. How many were in I have three in total. It's pressure. Are you the youngest? I'm the second youngest. That's a big family. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. So um, when I committed, uh, I talked to Coach Narduzzi in, Ju in June, um, asking him, like he kind of asked me what the plan was and if I wanted to graduate early. And in that moment, we kind of decided, all right, uh, let's take the classes to graduate early, and um, and then if it when the time comes around, if I want to go or stay, it's ultimately my decision. But we have time, and so um, that summer I took classes and stuff like that to graduate early and. Um, I graduated in December, and then I decided I wanted to stay. Um, and then a month later, that changed. So. Was it intense academically being able to graduate early? I mean, you had to cram in a lot of courses in a short period of time. Honestly, not really. It wasn't that tough because I mean, some of it was online, some of it was in person. So it definitely kind of, almost kind of prepared me for how it's like now. I mean, I was, had to be very self-disciplined with those online classes, but um, it wasn't too difficult. I just had to focus and lock in on it. Uh, it was six days. <laughs> yeah. Um, they took a home visit on a Monday, and uh, Tuesday, me and my family started talking about what's the best move for me, and um, I ultimately really didn't make a decision until Thursday, the Sunday before, I, uh, like three days before I left, um, because I really wanted to make sure my whole family, I got my whole family's opinion on it, and um, get all the people I care about and love opinion on the matter, so, because it doesn't just affect me, it affects everyone I love, so. That's a quick turnaround. You must be, uh, you know, have everything settled in your mind. You're very grounded. Right? <laughs> yeah. uh, I have moments where it's all a little crazy, but ultimately, I mean, having, knowing I have family and I can call and text whenever I want, having this coaching staff that, like, has been, like, helping me out through everything up here, I mean, and these players, like, it doesn't feel like it feels like my home away from home right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he was super happy. I mean, he, he, he nudged me on, my, uh, um, on the home visit, but he really didn't have to do much. I mean, I love this place. That's why I committed when I took my uh, official visit. Um, and so I've always wanted, I wanted to be here. So him just kind of putting that in my head, just kind of I ran with it a little bit.